patient, you would know you're ready for cataract surgery because you would start to experience some symptoms associated with your vision, such as blurry vision. A lot of patients come in saying that maybe they're altering their lifestyle in one way or another. For example, they might stop driving at night because the vision's blurry, they find that there to be more glare from oncoming headlights. Some patients will notice changes in their golf game or other important things that they like to do with their lives. Sometimes their, their tennis game has gone down because they just can't focus on the ball like they used to. A lot of them also complain that they need more light to read and they find that their, their need for light has increased with time. Or they just find themselves restricting some of the things that they enjoy doing, maybe sewing or just some of their daily activities. So the vision in general becomes more blurry with time as the cataract increases in size. Cataract surgery is the removal of the lens, the natural lens inside the eye that has grown cloudy as time has passed, as it, as it does with age, just naturally. And so cataract surgery is the removal of that cloudy lens and replacement with a new lens. Cataract surgery is generally done with ultrasound. That's the way we've been removing cataracts for many years. So basically we use sound waves. The sound waves take the solid cataract and change it from a solid into a liquid. Once it's a liquid form, we can sort of suck it out through a small tube, through a very small incision that's actually self-sealing on the way out so we don't even need sutures any longer. Once the cataract has been removed from the eye, we can inject a, an acrylic or an inert lens into the eye and that lens has the patient's prescription on it. You can't react to that lens and that lens is made to become naturally a part of you with time. So that lens generally has a patient's distance prescription. However, nowadays we're lucky enough to have new technology that allows us to put in either the distance prescription, a near prescription, we can use astigmatism lenses that help correct the patient's astigmatism, or we even have newer lenses that allow patients to have both their distance and near corrected at the same time. So we're fortunate enough to have advancing technology that has allowed us a lot of different opportunities and different technology to help patients see better, and not just see better, but also to develop more freedom from glasses. Through the years, and particularly over the past 10 years, we've had huge advances in technology as far as how to remove the lens from the eye. So now we not only have ultrasound or sound waves to remove the, the lens from the eye, we also have the ability to use lasers. And so over the last four to five years, since the FDA approval of laser cataract surgery, we now do about 30 to 40% of our cases with the usage of a laser. So the laser can help us perform half the cataract surgery. And then again, we use ultrasound, but the laser allows us to put less ultrasound into the eye. So less trauma to the eye. Any, any surgery is a trauma to the eye. So we want the surgery to be as atraumatic or less traumatic as possible for the patient so that you can heal more rapidly from your surgery. So the laser has been a nice tool to help improve cataract surgery for our patients. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what you would expect on the day of surgery. So when you arrive at Baskin Palmer on the day of surgery, much of the time that you'll be spending with us on that day is preparation for the surgery. Generally, the experience on that day is about three hours. However, the surgery itself is only about 10 minutes. So the nurses begin to prepare you by actually getting you into a hospital gown, making sure you're comfortable going over a few questions with you, and then putting some drops into the eyes. Then you move to an area outside of the operating room where an IV is started. The IV gives us a little, an opportunity to give you a little sedation to make sure you're nice and relaxed for your procedure. And once you're in the operating room, you get some numbing drops on the surface of the eye. We actually can numb the eye just with drops. We don't have to use any injections, and patients are completely comfortable during their experience with cataract surgery. Um, after the surgery, the patient leaves the operating room with just a clear shield over the eye. We don't patch the eye. You're able to see right after surgery, and maybe a little bit blurry because you're dilated. Sometimes the dilation can last up to a couple days after surgery. So it's the same type of dilated feeling you might feel after an examination in the office, but it lasts a little bit longer. So we give patients sunglasses to help them during the first two to three days with that little bit of light sensitivity. But most patients are back up and running doing most of their regular activities within one to two days after surgery. We advise patients not to do any heavy exercise or swim that first week, but pretty much everything else is okay, so you're back to your normal routine in no time.